dug from the sands of Qatar, this fossil is more than two million years old, an essential part of the country's cultural heritage and a natural exhibit for the new National Museum. This extraordinary building is designed inside and out to mimic the intersecting disks of a desert rose. Each space showcases a different theme designed by a renowned French architect. To create a, land, a sun rose uh, so large at this scale is something very difficult to do and you know that it's, it's necessary to have a very strong technology behind. So in the same time it's, it's, an, it's an image in relationship with the eternity of the desert and, and the modernity of today. It's taken eight years to complete. The building and its contents are intended to educate and inspire visitors, Qataris, to foreign workers and tourists. The nomads of Arabia will tell you that the desert rose symbolizes hope that there is water underneath, and that is the message that organizers at this museum would like people to take away with them. The building was still underway when four Arab countries imposed a land, air and sea blockade on Qatar. Now the museum's creators want to use it to illustrate the region's shared history. We believe that uh, uh, culture should really stay away from any political uh, tension between countries and it is really open. In fact, we have uh, a team from, uh, from the blockading countries are working with us on this. And this is very great when you work with the people who believe on, on, on the culture and, and they believe that culture sh should have no boundaries. Innovation in design can be seen everywhere here. The idea is to give equal prominence to each and every exhibit, to help visitors understand the global significance of Qatar's history. Qatar has some of the most significant pearls, and they were used to design uh, European tiaras, as you will see in the galleries, and also a Baroda carpet that came from the Maharaja of Baroda that was supposed to be gifted uh, as a cover for the tomb of uh, the Prophet Muhammad. So Qatar is always in dialogue with the rest of the world and therefore I don't believe in importing any culture. I think cultures are always in dialogue and exchanging knowledge between East-West, you can even say North-South. Before oil and gas, pearl diving drove Qatar's economy. The country's relationship with water is another key theme. It's my first immersive film. It's the first time I've used this kind of pretty futuristic technology of stitched cameras. It's shot entirely in Qatar with Qataris. Curators also want to highlight the role of women in Qatari society. This is not the first time we've had the National Museum. We were the first museum in the Gulf and this is something that is very interesting for us to reopen and actually show the public our heritage, all the research we've been doing for years. We really find this very interesting uh, to be able to bring all these stories together and actually not, not say everything, which is why the exhibition strategy is to actually immerse ourselves into expanding on different topics within the museum. The architect of the National Museum of Qatar wants it to stand for centuries, a shared ambition between those who planned and built the vision of a grand desert rose. Osama bin Jaweed Al Jazeera, Doha.